Hi guys, if you would like to see how to go from this texture of frizziness to this smooth cuticle, stay tuned. So first we're going to start off by um, shampooing the hair with a clarifying shampoo. You want to clarify the hair uh, at least two to three times to make sure that it's squeaky clean and there's no residue from any past products that were put on the hair. And then we're just going to blow dry it out. Um, I wanted to see, show you how big her hair got um, as we blow dried it out. And um, now you'll see me just flat ironing, well, not flat ironing, but uh, blow drying the hair with a paddle brush just to give it, give it a little more um, of a sleek look. And even still with that, what I was really trying to show you guys is there's still some type of volume to her hair, um, still some texture to her hair, even though we've um, blow dried her hair with a paddle brush. So then we're gonna go ahead and apply the product to the hair. I like to start at the nape, because typically with curly hair, the nape tends to be the most resistant and the most curliest hair. And um, I'm a little different, this is the way I've done this. Um, this treatment is by going around the perimeter of the hair, because I want the product to set in the perimeter of her hair a little longer just to ensure that it really gets into that cuticle and of course what she sees around her face is what she's really going to notice okay so after everything is all set the product has been saturated throughout the hair. I'm gonna let this product process for about 20 to 30 minutes. Occasionally I'll comb through it just to make sure that um, it's evenly um, saturated on each strand. And I'm also just trying to direct the hair down. So after it's set, um, you can see that it has really absorbed into her um, into her cuticle. You'll see that it's not quite as wet as that previous um, picture, which is good. It means it's absorbing into the hair. I let it sit for about 30 minutes. Also, when it's not extremely wet, it's easier to blow dry the hair. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to blow dry that hair. I'm not going to put it on the highest setting because the goal at this point is just to get the hair dry, not necessarily to straighten it. Again, with these keratin products, most of the time it is about how much heat you put into the hair. The more heat that you use, the better your results. So after everything has been completely blow dried, I'm going to go ahead and flat iron the hair. Now I'm going to take about quarter sections and depending on how thick the client's hair is, is uh, dependent upon which temperature you're going to use. So for her hair, it was extremely curly as well as extremely thick. I put the temperature on 450. Now if you were to do this product on someone who's blonde, and blondes typically don't have as much density as someone who has darker hair or you know different ethnicities, I would put the flat iron more on 375 or so. We just want to bake the product into the hair, but we do not want to over process. Looking good. You'll end up seeing the shine at the end of the video. So these are the results that I get. Now there's a huge difference between that first one and the last one. If you would go ahead, follow me on Instagram, Menkoi Chicago, um, as well as on Facebook. I would definitely appreciate it.